Here's what you need to know about the remix feature on Midjourney. Also, don't forget to check out my live stream on Sunday. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? So Midjourney just announced a new feature. It has some really cool functions. And this is basically what I showed you last time with the prompt hacking. So now this is becoming an official tool. Here is how to activate that. On Discord, go into the chat with the Midjourney bot, type slash and then settings to bring up the settings. Once you click on that, hit enter and this will bring up this menu. I have already made a video about that that you can check out here that describes all of the options. Here you have the remix mode. You can click on that when it's green. This means it's turned on. You can write a normal prompt as you can see here I have done with these images. And once you are done with that, you of course get this V1 button or even more buttons if you have two or four images. Now when you click on that, you get a pop up and this will let you change the prompt. And this is pretty amazing because not only can you add things to the text part of the prompt, but you can also change the prompt commands. So let's have a look at examples here. This is the original image. I used a very short prompt so I can see the impact of the changes better. But we have here a girl with flowers in her hair and this is done with test creative. Now here we have the first change where we have roses instead of flowers in the hair and you can see that actually most of the flowers have been replaced by roses but they still have kind of the same colors as the original roses. So next I took the change to say red roses and this actually replaced them with red roses with some petals falling here. Pretty nice. This probably comes from using minus minus test minus minus creative to make it more creative of course. But what you can also do is in the prompt you can write minus minus version 3 or 2 or 1 if you want to and this will basically demaster the image to make it from a test or test P version to a version three. You can see here still we have the same setup with the same position, the same clothing and flowers in the hair, but now with the more creative output of the version three. And of course, after you have done this, you can still go the other way around and turn it back again in a minus minus test or minus minus test P. So down here, I initially created that prompt without the test or test P model. So here this is automatically using version three and you can see the results here. And when I now click here, I of course can add here minus minus test, minus minus test P, minus minus creative, anything I want. So you can see when we have this, we are getting our remasters from that. In this case, you can see that the result is a bit blurry. So down here, I added some more information to the prompt with full focus 200 millimeters. So you can see this already has more detail and has nice hair detail and is a bit sharper. Now still the upscale turned out to be a little bit blurry and also looking a little bit painterly. So I thought let's go over to the good old stable diffusion automatic 1111 into the extras tab for the upscaling four times BSR again as the upscaler both GFP again and code former as face fixing. Boom shakalaka, check out this amazing result. Look at these beautiful sharp details, the hair up here, the flowers and very high resolution too. I really like the combination of using mid journey and stable diffusion in combination with each other. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a video which of both I like more, what are the upsides or downsides of using mid journey or stable diffusion. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and see you in my live stream on Sunday. Bye.